Hello, welcome to the New Jersey Pony Power Show. We are on our way to Wells Mills Park, but we're not in the park yet, but we're surrounded by parkland. And right in the heart of all these great shapes in the New Jersey Pinelands, National Reserve. There's a sign down the road. I love this road. Look at this. This is the middle of nowhere over here. I love it. And there's a cedar swamp. Actually, no, this is not a cedar swamp. Excuse me. These are swamp maples in here, but they haven't all changed. This is a maple swamp. Uh, uh, you can see we got swamp maples. They're not all changing yet. Some of them are starting to. I don't know. I think it seems like they're a little late this year. I don't know. It just seems like that. I remember this time last year, we seemed to have a lot more foliage than the swamp maples. I guess because of all the rain, it hasn't been as dry. But, uh, let's see, we got a beautiful little maple swamp. This is what you call a maple swamp. Now, instead of Atlantic white cedars, you have a lot of Swamp maples. Take a look at this beautiful scenery, huh? These gorgeous shapes. On a pretty desolate road. Alright, we're going to be in Wells Mills Park next. Oh, actually, there's one more thing I want to show you. We're going to be passing a cedar swamp. A real cedar swamp. Not a maple swamp. A cedar swamp. Look at these classics, huh? Yeah, I had to show you this again. Some really nice ones in here. We're inside Wells Mills Park now. Look at these great shapes. All right, we're gonna hit some trails, head into the desert-like area, to a desert-like area. I don't know if I'm gonna. I might do a loop around the whole place. Hopefully, I have time for that. Shit, I'm just old. Yeah, yeah, I got time. We can do it. some tents ready because guess what's coming up this weekend Pine Barren Jamboree is gonna be here yes I believe it's Saturday I won't be here but uh, definitely recommend that uh, you come if you want you know if you're into those fairs and things like that me not really but yeah there's the big lake here I think I'll just stick to get a desert like I don't want to walk around the whole thing. It's too much. Um, we'll go to the desert like I'm gonna take a seat here. Well, we don't take a seat. I kind of need to though. Look at this scene. We got a little color here, a little bit. Now this is a plant called ground pine. Uh, it is not, it's not an actual, actual pine, but it looks like one. It's quite pretty. There's just a whole bunch of it growing right here along the trail. Got that cedar water, Atlantic white cedar. This is the Oyster Creek. Yes, this is the same uh, creek that the Oyster Creek Nuclear Power Plant is named after, which is uh, east of here, toward route on off Route 9. Take a look at those great shapes, huh? All right, we're getting out of that Cedar Swamp area and getting into, you know, my favorite places to be in the Pine Barrens, desert-like areas with uh, sugar sand and pitch pines. And we love areas like these. This is where the shapes get crazy. Yeah. Look at this little witch's broom here. It's a little one. Hard to see because it's kind of in the sun. Got the uh, reindeer lichen and I think some thorn lichen mixed in as well. And then you got <laughs> all these delicious shapes. Yeah, look at those shapes. I huh? worked off the trail here. 
in those desert-like areas. Got the Pine Barren Tether, of course, on the ground. Joint wheat is still uh, blooming. Still there. We've had some pretty cold nights, I'm surprised. Look at these shapes, huh? It's just gorgeous. Lots of great shapes in the spot over here, of course. Side here, we'll do the loop. We're gonna loop around. I don't feel like backtracking. All right, let's just veer onto here for a little bit. Oh yeah, there's a beauty. Oh, there's a real beauty in there. You know, we gotta get to it. Hold on. Gotta get. It. We kind of have to go off the trail here, but let's check it out. All right. Let's see. We gotta get to it. All right. There you go. See that scene? Yeah, let's get a little closer to that scene. Pine Barren Heather. You know I love areas like this. You know I'm a sucker for areas like this. If you know anything. Look at all these uh, reindeer lichen. Lots of reindeer lichen. Yeah, that's that beauty. Look at that beauty right there. Yeah, look at those shapes. All right, we're exploring more of this beautiful desert-like area. Yeah, the point's starting to orange out a little bit. You know, the, the needles turn orange in the fall. They, they fall off. Some of, Not all of them, but some of them do. Yeah, look at those great shapes, huh? All right, we're going to continue on this trail right here. Well, there's a fork. I got to go to the right. Got to go to the right of this fork here. This is the yellow trail. Yellow and green trail. Show you. Front of the sun here. Yeah. Take a look at these great shapes. And we also got all these clumps of reindeer lake in here. Gotta love these desert like areas. Pine barren tether as well. We love the deserts. We love the deserts. And that sugar sand. It's all about that sugar sand. And those great shapes. Now take a look at these delicious shapes. Yeah, look at these shapes in here, man. Now look at this, huh? Uh, those Jersey style classics. Got that vivid color. All the huckleberries, they have already changed. The leaves are off. Oaks, though, I've not. There's a blackjack there. Oh, look at those shapes, huh? And look at this reindeer lake in here. We got a lot of this moss, too. It's very soft, actually. It's, you can actually sleep on this if you had to spend a night here, you know. Probably, you know, wouldn't be too uncomfortable. It's pretty soft. All right, we're going to walk around. I think I got time. Yeah, we got some. Let's do it. I didn't do this the last time I was here, I walked in the loop around the lake. The reason why I want to do that is I'm hoping maybe we'll see some swamp maples in bloom. Alright, so we're going to be walking along this path here for a little bit. Mixed oaks and pines over here. Back to the scrub oaks, but nothing's really changing yet over, in, over here. Well, some of them are just turning brown, they're not even turning color. Hope we don't have what we had last year with that. Last year we got chipped. We didn't get much of a foliage season. However, the, uh, and the pine barrens and the swamp maples were, had, were not affected, but the oaks, the oaks were not changing the colors that they normally do. So hopefully that won't happen this year. 
And the maples were really affected too. So, hopefully that doesn't happen this year. And hopefully we get a nice, good foliage season. I haven't taken this trail in a while actually, so I wanted to walk around the whole lake. See, it goes around the lake, the lake is over there. It's a big lake. So you walk around it, you'll realize how big it is, even though when you saw in the video, in this video, it didn't look that big. Trust me, it is. Some more great shapes. All right, yeah, it's actually pretty piney over here. I thought it was more of a mixed oak but and pine, but it's mostly pines. Oh yeah, look at that one. We're in a more swampy area now. Um, so something in the water there. But unfortunately, none of these swamp maples are changing yet. I don't think they would be. Uh, look at that beautiful, clean, pine barren cedar water. And just like that, we go up a hill. Coming up that hill, and we're back into a dry pitch pine upland. Looks actually like an oak brush plain. So not unlike many areas on Long Island, <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah, it's rolling, uh, rolling terrain over here. Usually in Jersey, it's so flat, so it's unusual to see rolling terrain. Well, in this section is anyway. But then again, about five miles, maybe not even, like two or three miles north on the other side of 532's Fork River Mountains. Oh, excuse me, Fork River Mountains. That's how they pronounce it up here. See, it's definitely getting more hardwoods here now. All right, we're still in this rolling terrain here. There's a uh, cargo plane, I think, flying into Lakehurst, which isn't that far away from here, so. See, the rolling terrain continues here. We, we're gonna be making a right, I think, soon. And then it'll start hitting we're all the way on the west side of the preserve now, so. See, white trail, green trail, and yellow trail. See, now it's mostly uh, oaks, and uh, actually, maybe not oaks. These are, uh, hold on, we'll get a look at them in a second here. Yeah, these are oaks. It's mostly oaks now. This is the oaky section. Right, I know. Well, yeah, I know. I like the desert like area too, but. If you want to see some foliage, we're going to have to and I get into some different types of hardwood areas with the uh, hardwood or uh, broadleafed, you know, deciduous forests, if you want to see that. All right, got to make that right here. That's it. Don't miss this turn, because otherwise you're going to wind up in uh, Boy Scouts property. And it's going to get a little more narrow here, but we're going to get in some swampy areas, and I'm hoping... We get to see some fall foliage. I'm hoping. Really a little disappointed. I thought we'd see some swamp maples. Some, at least. Alright, so we get down this hill here. So now we're descending down into the swampy area. You can see this is quite an incline here. This is not a kettle hole plant, I don't think, so... Sure, sure seems like it though. Steep incline. But no, these aren't kettle hole ponds. Gotta take it slow over here. Getting a little slippery with these leaves. So we got leaves that came down, but I don't see a whole lot of color here. coming into some swamp maples now, but they just haven't changed yet. Oh, there's a little bit, a little bit of color here. A little bit. Yeah, that's this Oyster Creek there. It's the Oyster Creek Bridge. It's a little odd, better than the other spot. You can really get nice and close to the cedar water. Oh, look at that, huh? I'm gonna make the damn shadow out of the way. Look at that, huh? Look 
pure clean cedar water. Get that. Look at how clean that is. Unfortunately, our streams on Long Island aren't this clean anymore. But you can always come here and uh, enjoy it. And we're out of the swamps and back into the pines. So, yeah. We're passing by a couple more creeks and some through a pretty nice looking cedar swamp too. But before we get there, look at all these pines. Yeah, we're in the thick of the pines now. It's a dense, nice young young area of pitch. I guess most of these aren't that old. Maybe 20 years. All right. After heading northwest for a bit, we've got to make a right here. All right, so we're going to be heading back east over here. This is the Joseph A. Sitter Scout Reserva Reservation. You're allowed to hike here. I mean, they're probably not going to kick you out, but uh, there's no reason to really go in there. It's mostly oaks anyway. Uh, there's the sign, Wells Mills. Hiking trail. Got to go back this way. All right, so back east now. This is actually one of the largest uh, county parks in Ocean County, so definitely larger than Jake's Branch for sure. Even though it's not quite as piney here, it's more of a mix. On this end, you see a lot more oaks, which you know I'm not too crazy about, but <laughs> I'm sure. In about a month, when these oaks finally change, it'll be a different story and it'll be pretty colorful. All right, we're now going to be heading into a deep, dark cedar swamp. All right, it's pretty dense in here with the cedars. It's pretty dark, too. You know, the, I'm sure the camera, again, just doesn't show how dark it is, but, uh, I mean, it's not pitch black. I mean, you can see, but it's, you know, it's a lot dimmer in here than it was in the, uh, you know, piney areas, you know. We've got lots of Atlantic white cedars. Lots of cedars here. Nice boardwalk. I guess, I don't know if cedars lose their needles at all in the fall. I think they do too, a little bit. I see some cedar needles. So I guess maybe they do. Dark enough for you yet? <laughs> Look how dark it is now, huh? Yeah, we're really in the midst of a really dense Atlantic White Cedar Swamp here. It's one thing the Long Island Pine Barrens does not have. It does not have cedar swamps like this. Well, it's only one in one spot, but it still isn't as dense as this. Yeah, continuing our way through this absolutely beautiful cedar swamp. I wanted to come through here again because this is like one of the densest cedar swamps I've seen. And it's really dense. I mean, you've got just nothing but cedars in here. And look at this beautiful cedar water here. This is the raccoon branch. Ooh. I'm running across the water there. Maybe a water strider. Look at this. Look at the color. Look at that. It's incredible. Look at that. This cedar water foams like this. It's normal. It's not pollution. It's just foam. It's, it foams like that. Look at that. It's almost blood red. Look at that. Oh, I'm so glad I came down to this spot. This, this spot is so cool. Look at that. It's from the tannins. It's, it's amazing, though.
I'm using the super vivid mode now on the camera. Look at this. And sometimes it's brown and sometimes it's red like blood. Look at that. I know some people, well, some people from the city get freaked out if they see something like this, but uh, to me it's a thing of beauty. All right, so heading up back to a uh, pitch pine uplands here. You can see the pines definitely becoming no, more numerous again. Yeah, that, that spot over there is just spectacular. That's like, my two favorite areas of this park are that spot we were just in and the desert-like area. It's, it's incredible. So we're now on the yellow trail. They might split off and take the blue lake trail. It splits off from us. See, we got nothing but pines over there. Might do that. Let's see. I know you want you want me to, right? I know you want me to. And I want to also, so. Alright, more great shapes. Yes, getting to a piney area. Still got a little ways to well. I don't think we have that much more ways to go, but uh, get a little ways to go from the Cedar Swamp before you get back to the uh, main area of the park. It's all part of that lake to the south of us. <laughs> it's a big lake. Do not be fooled. It doesn't look big when you go look at it from the nature center, but it is a big lake. And look at all these pines. Yep, we got more great shapes here. A lot of great shapes. And then we got more pines here. There's just no escaping those great shapes, let me tell you. Especially the crazy ones. <laughs> How's that for dense, huh? Man, we got a dense stand of pitch pines here. You can see it actually kind of slopes downward over there, too. I'm trying to make some time. I'm running a little behind schedule now. Surprising, you gotta keep stopping and looking at all these great shapes. I mean, you know. see, some of them are oranging out. That one's oranging out a little bit. And you could say the pines get a little bit of foliage too. They do. And we've come down that hill over there, back into a lower area with cedar streams and Atlantic white cedars. Don't know if I'm going to have time to take that blue trail. I'll definitely give you another view of the lake for sure, but the blue trail is going to take me a little longer, you know. Got to remember, I got to walk all the way back to Route 9. I walk all the way from Route 9 to get here. It's a long walk. Yeah, see, no foliage yet. These are all swamp maples, but they just haven't changed. I'm sure it'll be spectacular, and that's the blue trail, but... Uh, well, uh, it's not a good idea. All right, could also be it's, just, it's also a lot of wet areas on this trail. That other trail could be really uh, a little hard going there. I don't want to get mud on me. I don't like getting mud on. <laughs> yeah, these look like nothing's changing yet. There's a big pitch pine. It's a big one. It's, tall. it's a tall one anyway. Alright, I know we're not too much further now. Yeah, I see the uh, nature center through the trees. I mean, if there's a path I could take to the lake, I'll, I'll take it as a shortcut for you, but uh, I'm not going to take that blue trail because. Yeah. Yeah, we got a little foliage here and uh, another really big pitch pine. Uh, that's uh, sassafras. Some of the sassafras are changing in some spots. That's sassafras, isn't it? No, it's not. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe that is sassafras. I'm not sure. No, it's that aspen stuff. Yeah, it's not sassafras. That's not going to be changing for a little, a little while at least, so... Yeah, I bet you there'd be a lot of foliage there in a little bit, but so far nothing. All right, we're going to walk down to the uh, dock here along the lake. 
There's a house here. I don't know if that's a private residence or what. Avoid ticks. Yeah. Best thing to do is to wear permethrin on your pants like I do. And the ticks won't have a chance to even bite you. Beautiful lake, huh? Look at that. Well, there's a pine that got knocked down. Not much wind now. There's some ducks hanging around there. That's the Wells, Wells Nature Center. We're not going to go in there though. This is where the Jamboree is going to be here. Look at all these beautiful pines though, huh? Mix of pitch pine and short leaf. Yes, uh, they're restoring this as a grassland. So they're not mowing this section down anymore. See, the jamboree used to be healthier, but it's going to help in the other spot, I think. Which is fine. Let's go walk around in this, though. Hopefully we're all too. And maybe we will see some uh, wildflowers, like the pine barren gentian. Because I had a picture of it, so I'm hoping maybe we'll get to see it. But And I know it's blooming now, so... Blooms in uh, September and October. And look at these pines. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up the video here. What better place to wrap it up with a scene like this, I'll tell you. Thank you for watching this New Jersey Pony Power Show. And remember, it's all about those great shapes.